So this, uh, this is Mercury HG. Uh, as you can see from the little logo up there, it's, it's highlighting Mercury on the, on the periodic table. Ironically, uh, it, it, every level in this game is named after one of the elements on the periodic table, and ironically, Mercury, the titular element of the game, does not appear in the base game. It appears in uh, the Rare Earth Elements and Heavy Metals DLC. So, nice work. But what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be playing any percent, no DLC. So we're just going to be playing the standard, regular run of the game. Uh, I, I played this game off and on for quite a bit. I do have, for most levels, I have personal bests that are in at least the top 100 worldwide times. Some of them in the top 50 and it's even some that are up in the top 25 approaching the top 10. So uh, this is a game that I'm, I'm really good at. The best way I can describe it to you is it's kind of like Marble Madness, except you're playing as a little blob of mercury instead of rolling a marble around. And uh, this is a uh, this is essentially um, the, the latest and I guess final game in the Mercury series of games which started with Archer McLean's Mercury on the PSP as a launch title, and then you had Mercury Meltdown, uh, Mercury Meltdown Remix, and uh, then you have Mercury HG. So this game came out, I believe, in like 2011. It's relatively old. Um, so there's, um, there's essentially uh, a couple things to take note in this game. Um, one, has a banging soundtrack. Two, uh, you're going to notice that there's different switches that you need to hit in order to activate things in the game. Uh, most of the time, these depend on the color of your Mercury, so uh, some of them are big 3x3 three three squares, some of them are individual squares on the grid. That just depends on the level. Uh, for the big ones, you just have to touch it anywhere, but of course, if it's the little tiny ones, you have to go over every single square so I'm gonna try to uh, uh, talk to you about some of the some of the tricks most of the stages here have some weird funny uh, way of beating it that the, the uh, developers probably weren't thinking about when they designed the level uh, so I'll uh, I'll try to give you some facts about that and I'll try to give you some facts about the elements as we go so we're gonna have ourselves a bit of an educational stream here so let me check on the schedule. We are kind of starting this about on time. Okay, so hit uh, play game, and we're going to discovery mode. And essentially, you can see every stage is is an element. Starting, uh, they're they're done by uh, by column, not by row. So you know you've got hydrogen all the way over here, but then you get to helium is actually one of the final stages in the game. So whatever. But then yeah, if you want to play if you want to play Mercury. It's actually in the, uh, it's, it's right here in the heavy, in the, uh, uh, heavy elements group in the DLC. And then the, uh, uh, uh lanthanides and actatides, you, you got your americium and everything else down here, so. Anyways, uh, you know, one thing that irks me about this game is that they never, they never put out a, even just like a quick little patch that actually, uh, because all, all of these, all of these elements have been discovered and synthesized and they have been named. You know, uh, Oganesson, uh, Tennessine, uh, Nihonium, you, you know, they, they, they haven't, they, they haven't, they never updated these. It now it's, now it's just like the old periodic table that's at your fucking high school. But okay. Here we go. Hydrogen. I know a thing or two about hydrogen. It's very flammable. It's very lightweight. So I'm not going to be picking up the little atoms you see floating around. Uh, if they're in my way, I might run into them, but it's not necessary. And since I'm not connected to Xbox Live, it's not going to upload any of my scores, so that's going to save a lot of time. It's not giving us the name. Oh, this is a uh, beryllium. There we go. I was looking at the wrong part of the screen. 
Uh, beryllium. I don't know much about beryllium. Isn't it magnetic? But you can see that's actually, uh, that kind of teaches you about activating switches. These first few levels are all, uh, they're all, uh, kind of like tutorial stages. This is sodium. Uh, very explosive when you put it in water. You don't want to do that. It's a bad idea. <laughs> Fandramon, mmm, salt. This one's free. All you gotta do is hold forward. Oh, hang on, but my controller was walking to the side of the Okay, it didn't matter. That was magnesium. I think magnesium makes really nice sparks. No, don't update the leaderboards! Don't- I'm not connected to live! This is potassium. Potassium, you find naturally in bananas, is very mildly radioactive. So bananas have some radioactivity to them. But the amount of bananas you would have to eat to die of radiation poisoning is obscene. So don't worry about it. Enjoy your bananas. This is calcium. This is what makes your bones strong. You gotta be careful the center of this level because there's a very nefarious thing that flips around and will blow your mercury to pieces if you hit a corner of it wrong. Uh, I could also point out the different floor textures while we're here. This kind of bumpy looking stuff is actually quite slippery. See? <laughs> I was right there at the end, goddammit. It's very hard to uh, uh, control the mercury on, on those, and I, I don't know if you can tell from the perspective, but uh, it's the ground is very wavy. So the, the mercury, your your tent, you're you're fighting against the the ground pushing you off of it. There we go. This is a uh, rubidium. I don't know much about this element, but I do know that you can do this on this stage. Check this out. <laughs> my, my my actual best time is 1.73 seconds. So. <laughs> All right, strontium. I think that's what they make hockey pucks out of. On, a, I mean, otherwise I don't know why they would be in this level. Actually, I believe strontium is one of those radioactive isotopes that you, you that come out of like reactors. You basically, if there was a chunk of strontium, you wouldn't want to touch it. Now, the reason why the camera is zooming so far out, I'm not doing that. I can make the game not do that, but I kind of don't care. It doesn't bother me that much. It's trying to keep all of the mercury within, you know, view of the camera. It's, that's all it's trying to do. It just keeps zooming out to keep all of it on. I don't mind. This level has a fun, uh, quick, quick exit. Or, quick finish. See if I can do the strat. Nope. Didn't work. I let you down, you guys. I'm sorry. You can basically hit the splitter, that edge right there, and you can go and right up along the blue stuff and <laughs> fall straight onto the exit. Hard to do, but you saw I had the 21 fa the 20 21st fastest time in the world on this stage. You guys like Tetris? We're not playing that this stream, but we got this. Right. What we gotta do is hit the yellow ones over here, and that's gonna light up the whole floor blue, and we're gonna get get to the exit. But you have to be yellow to touch the exit, because you notice the exit is yellow color. This is Francium. This element's crap. There's a there, there's a fun quick finish on this stage. I'll show it to you. If I, if I can get it right, if I can get it right. Get the timing right. All right, here it is. Up. <laughs> there you go. 
Easy every time. They want you to go all the way around the flower drawing them. Uh-uh, I ain't got time for that. 49th fastest time in the world. So this one is kind of a there and back again stage. You're on a big music note. You come over here, you hit the, the yellow little chufer thing. I don't know why it zooms so far out. I don't really have uh, any mercury that's rolling around elsewhere in the level. It would it would have fallen off by now. So you go ahead and do like that. Then that's going to turn this, what, quarter note into a eighth note or something? You have to hit the cyan spritzer to get to the thing over there. 50 second fastest time. Okay. Ignitium, I think, is a character from The Legend of Spyro, and this level's crap. This level's like actual garbage. It's actual trash. It's a poopy level. It's no fun. We have to combine these two colors, red and green. They make yellow. Don't quote me on that, but they do. Can't make yellow, Draco. It's a primary color. Yeah, we'll tell that to the scientist who invented yellow. Where's your PhD? Oh, I'm sorry. What? You have an art school degree? Oh, okay. Maybe you shouldn't be talking about science. There we go. All right. I don't know the fast way to do that stage. I've attempted it a lot of times, and I haven't figured it out. So this stage is another one that has a uh, quick finish, but I believe the exit is yellow, so we can't just jump straight to it. That's okay. I don't need that mercury. Lighter is better. They're almost kind of... whoops. <laughs> My bad. They're almost kind of hinting, you know, toward the fact that you can do these levels faster if, if you're paying attention. In the case of this stage, if you look right over here by the little the little sprayer, you can just it's, the game's telling you you can just drop straight down and go do that. Like you just drop straight down right there. Come on, you dummy! It's only mercury. Well, the reason why the color combinations are so weird is because it goes by uh, RGB. So we've already finished group one of the elements. We're done with that. Moving on to uh, scandium. This is what's inside uh, uh, printers and scanners. They sell this at Office Depot, you can buy it. Right, hit the blue button. That's gonna turn on that. We're just gonna activate a thing in the middle here so we can get to the red. One more. So this level that kind of unfurls is going to kind of be something that we see a little bit of in the future. Oftentimes, there's some of these levels that are that are devised around a way that um, it gets borrowed later on, but in a more advanced way. This level's a lot of fun. You actually don't have to hit a whole lot of the buttons here. I mean, you have to hit these yellow ones because they start activating the red platforms, but you don't have to hit any of the red platforms. Like, you, you, you can hit these, but you can also just go like this. Sixty seventh fastest time. I mean, it, like, these times that I'm logging right now, are, since I'm not connected to live, they're not gonna, they're not being counted. Oh, wait, shit, hang on. Where was... Okay, yeah, we need to, we need to split it and mix cyan. It's this stage. The stage is pretty tricky going for 100% uh, in if you were to collect all the little atoms. Because that, that blue ground right there, you can only go in there if you're blue. Just like how, see how I can go on that because I'm cyan? You have to mix it at the end of the stage instead of doing it at the very beginning. 63rd fastest time though. You can make white by mixing blue, green, and red. Yeah, that's uh, in, in terms of like RGB colors, additive colors, uh, that's how white light is made. And actually in this game, I believe uh, that's how you can actually make silver. I don't 
uh, no, there there is a level that that requires you to mix all three colors back to make to make the blob silver again. Because once you start dicking with the colors, there, there's no there's no white sprayer. You have to mix all three colors to make it uh, silver again. Oh boy, yeah. This is magnesium. This one's got a whoop. <laughs> My bad. That's okay. Whoop. There we go. All right, that's okay. This has got a little bit. It's all that matters. Little, little, little drop. Oh, there it is. <laughs> What's my time on that one? 150th? That's Mewtwo, baby. Yeah, this level right here, Iron. We're we're gonna. This isn't the last time we've seen this layout. We're gonna see it again later. Iron um, is in is in blood. That's why blood tastes metallic. That's why vampires like it. That's why you can give vampires a nail and they'll leave you alone. They'll suck on it like a lollipop. Try that next time you see a vampire. This is uh, Yttrium. There's a quick strat here. I'm gonna try it once. Oh, fuck, no, that guy's coming toward. Oh! No. I'm gonna try it twice. I'm gonna try it twice. Because <laughs> that's the kind of dumbass I am. Okay. If you splat against that wall hard enough, you can just jump the gap. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. It's a lot harder than it sounds. It's basically impossible. And the other way of doing this stage is, uh, you know, the scrub way, like this. You just kind of go through the level and touch the touch the two buttons and then it opens up the floor and you gotta watch out for the splitter get out of my get out of here there we go got the 19th fastest time with that cheap little strat though this is zirconium if you got diamonds made out of this they're not real diamonds sorry is this the... Oh, yeah, this stage is fun. Check this out. I think this is the one where I can just go like... This. Oh, damn it. Okay, you guys saw the strat, too. I, I botched it. Oh, but I recovered right there at the end. That's right. 56 fastest time. A lot of people figured that one out. This is Neobium. I don't... This is not a real element. I don't know what this one is. I haven't seen the periodic videos episode about this element yet. I couldn't tell you any fun facts about it. To jump the gap like an idiot. Oh, that didn't even work, man. Because now I gotta go over here to where this Space Invaders wiener is, anyways. There's a way where you can basically get on from the center right there, because you, you can see how the platforms touch. But I got I got the cycles all wrong. It's alright, it's still got the 39th fastest time somehow. Okay. This is Molybdenium, I think. I'm sorry. This is Peter Molyneuxium. That's what... That's what high-profile crappy games on the Xbox are made out of. <laughs> made a joke. Alright, so the trick here is we gotta get one of these blobs down to the green. Because you notice there's a yellow button over there. That's fine. That's fine. Just freestyle it. It's all good. Ah! One of the- you saw I had a little bead of mercury that I left behind in there. Uh, you don't have to touch it, you, it t as long as any of your mercury touches the exit, it counts. This is uh, Technetium. Yeah, you have to combine all the colors here to make silver. Uh, 
I, I don't really understand what the hell the point of this level is. But there you go. Actually, I don't even think you need to combine the things. I think you can be any color and hit that exit, and you'll be fine. This is Ruthenium. Uh, this, no, this isn't the level that we had a weird strat for. That's, that's a different one that looks similar to this. Oh, crap. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. Whoops. It's all good. It's all good. It's fine. Who cares? favorite element is blue. Not cobalt, blue. Just, just, just the color itself. Alright, go over here, drop down. There we go. Yeah, you can be any color and hit a silver goal. So I guess on, uh, uh, technetium. I didn't have to combine the colors, but I guess I did that to show you guys you can make silver. That's group two down. Moving on to group three out of five. I think this is the biggest group, though. This this boron. This is the only element. This is what they make sleeping pills out of because it makes people bored. That's the joke. That's the joke I'm telling. Fuck you, comedy. Get that. Yeah, uh, that's gonna activate. And then moving plat. Yeah, there's a moving platform over here. Now you notice there's a switch over there that's cyan, but I don't give two shits about it because the exit's cyan. I'm just gonna go touch it. That just activates a different moving platform, so you can pick up one of the atoms on the level. 64th fastest time though, because you can you can get a platform skip on the, on that one pretty easily. All right, go red. So the way this one works is this is like a little happy face with, uh, he's wearing headphones, and when you activate all the red switches, his face, his headphones will start to move up and down, and that's how you get to the yellow sprayer. So you just cross over there, and go under the yellow sprayer, and it moves back and forth, so you gotta be quick on that one. And then boom, you touch it. It's just that simple. What's my time on that? 187? That's not a very good time. <laughs> Cobalt! So this this uh, level covertly introduces those little magnets. Uh, the black ones push you away, the red ones pull you towards them. And if you get stuck between two of them, then you're just screwed. Really easy stage. Uh, it's not that hard to fight against the, the force of those magnets. I think uh, some of the DLC levels use them a little more prolifically, though. This is Nickel. There's a way to do this level really fast, and it involves doing this. <laughs> there we go. 110th fastest time. Hey, Wave Cube, welcome to the stream. This is Copper. Kathy Mitchell knows a thing or two about this element. Red first. Red first, then yellow in this stage. So essentially by doing that, you notice that now the, 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 the floor pattern has changed. Oh, whoops. I'm sure that's not going to get in the way. I do like that the uh, the yellow element, I think, is just ye. That was the timer for par time ticking down. Just means I suck, that's all. 
how memey did the Star Fox portion get? It got pretty memey. It got pretty dank. We actually just went for the bad ending too, because I've, ne I've, I've never done it on stream before. This is Zinc. Looks an awful lot like the Iron Stage, doesn't it? Instead, they've just moved the little holes instead of being jumps you have to go through. Now there's just holes in the level. Like I said, don't get too comfortable. We, we, we weren't done with that stage last time we saw it. 26th fastest time, though. This is Gallium. There's a pretty good skip here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say it. I don't care that you hurt your elbow. I kind of wanted to keep a lot of Mercury for that, but whoops. So you saw you saw what that was all about. I'm not. We're not going all the way through there because I got a better idea. I'm going like this. There it is. <laughs> Just hit the ramp and smash yourself against the wall for the 30th fastest time. Skips tips. You can learn it. You can learn a thing or two about about this game for me. Uh, Rhodium. We're kind of right back to the iron and zinc stage again. We're whoops. I overcompensated for that. Ninety ninth fastest time, just barely in the top one hundred. That's all that counts. Ah, uh, this is the one that's got the strat. Check this out. <sighs> nope. I know, I know, I missed it. So the exit is yellow, and the exit is open. You just have to be yellow to get it. <sighs> Damn it! You can hit that spritzer, and you can splash your mercury back on the on the floor. Damn it! Would have been real. It would have been real sweet to get that first try. Nope. This one's a really cool strat, and it only cost a little bit of time to attempt it. <sighs> Damn. You have to hit. You have to hit just the edge of the of the of the spritzer. You have to kind of roll the thumbstick. That's too much. Get another couple shots real quick. Ah, damn it. I don't want to do this one the normal way. I want to do it the awesome way. Do it do like a man. No. No. I'm not going to put my tail between my legs on this. It's like the coolest trick in the game. There it is! There it is! Fuck that stage. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna do it. <laughs> 84th fastest time. A lot of people figured that one out. This is silver. This is more of a, more of a bronze stage, if you ask me. It's really hard. It's really hard to do this one fast. Oh shit! Wrong way. You gotta go in here. You essentially have to take two trips around the level. Paint yourself blue, and you go back around. Uh, you can't really fight against the conveyor belt. You, you cannot tilt against it, so I don't know how to do it any, any faster. This is cadmium. They make, they make or made batteries out of this. I don't know. Like nickel cadmium batteries. So the way this works is this is another one where we're gonna have to get yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and split the mercury right here because you can see as I'm not red, so that red floor stops me. Then we're gonna come down here. We're gonna paint this one red. Real nice and slow like. And hide in the corner. So most of the, uh, like, some of these levels look really easy, but the difficulty comes with if you try to get the little bonus atoms. This is Indium. Uh, this one, this one's got, actually has some sequence skips if you're fast enough on it, on the draw. Like, if you come up here instead, and you duck down, and I, I missed that one, but that's okay. As long as I 
make this up there. There we go. But yeah, a lot of the difficulty comes with trying to grab all of the atoms. Sometimes just beating the stage is is really simple. But getting the... And that's group three down. We're up to group four. This is carbon. Allegedly, this makes up most of the building blocks of life. I think there are holes randomly... Yeah. <laughs> There's not really randomly, but there are holes placed throughout the, this level for you to fall through. That's not the last we'll see of this. I think helium is also designed this way. This is nitrogen. You can breathe this and, and it'll kill you. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, if you breathe only nitrogen. I mean, nitrogen makes up like 72% of our atmosphere or whatever, like the air you're breathing right now. But, you know, if, if it was 100% nitrogen, you would be singing a different song. Anyways, that was nitrogen. <laughs> N2 is one of the stablest uh, molecules known to exist. This is oxygen. This is a network. This is a television network for women. All right. So there, there is a jump you can do off the side right here to get to the exit. But you can see the exit is slightly higher up than uh, the other part of the stage. So making that jump, you have to jump up from that side over there and splash up and over. And because I lost too much mercury at the beginning, I, I, I wasn't gonna be able to make it. This is silicon. Uh, there's a place in California where there's a lot of this, and it's basically cancer. So uh, here's my opinion on silicon. I'm just going to go ahead and activate that, and we're just going to skip ahead. <laughs> there's the whole stage. This is phosphorus. Uh, this stuff burns very bright, and there's a, there's a neat strat to get through this one really quickly. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. You guys can kind of see what it is. Damn it. I don't think I have enough left to do another run. Oh! Yeah. The exit's right there. And you actually, if you do more than only a few attempts at this, you're losing time. Okay, fuck it. So otherwise, I mean, you literally just kind of go around and just hug the sides and you're at the exit. That's that's the th that's it. But it is, it is a lot cooler if you splash against the wall and get there. Those are just hard strats to do. This is sulfur. This element is yellow. As for why they made the stage red, I have no idea. This element also smells like rancid farts. All right, and the exit's open. Again, that's just that's just like around and around and around you go trying to get all the oh I'm I'm the 69th fastest time on that one nice I think Mr. Inflammable dared me to do that. This is germanium. This is what German chocolate cakes are made out of. That's why they taste so good. Whoop whoop! Never gonna no nope. never gonna take me alive, buddy. We got a speed run to do. That is correct, Emporio. It is Silicon Valley. Oh, hang on. This is arsenic. This element will literally kill you. And this stage will probably kill your run. You can't just hold forward on this level and, and expect it to go because you'll fly out of the level. You have to kind of manage your speed a little bit. Otherwise, you'll fly right over the ending. But yes, I was referring to Silicon Valley earlier. And it's the people there that give you cancer, not the element. Pretty sure you can just eat silicon and it's fine. All right, this is selenium. This was discovered by uh, Tejano singer Selena. I'm gonna wait three seconds and then I'm gonna go ahead and get on this. Not a lot of people know that about uh, selenium. Oh shit! I went. I went to the wrong side. Well, I gotta restart that one. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. <laughs> we jump off to this side. There we go. All right. 
Come on. There we go. Those stages, yeah, he's, there's just a lot of waiting. This is tin. It's a very cheap ass metal. I don't know why this level's so damn huge, but it is. Whoops. Should not have insulted tin. Just listening. I think I think my right stick is walking slightly because I noticed the camera kind of turns a little the, the weird angles. It doesn't really throw me off all that much, but I am noticing it. This level's pretty cool though because as you as you hit the the buttons, like the level lights up and everything. And actually now it's just kind of rolled over and moved so I can get to the green sprayer. There's not really a there's not really a, a speed strat for this aside from just optimized movement. The 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 gray parts. Wait, what happened? Oh shit! I didn't fully hit the spritzer. Or I did, but I lost that part of the mercury. The mercury just fell off. Wasn't paying attention. I mean, here I am talking about optimized movement. I'm not even the right damn color to finish the stage. Uh, this level, you can't cheat it. Because if you pay attention to the end right here, it, there's a slope that goes up. So you can't, like... And that slope doesn't appear until you actually hit all three buttons. So you can't cheat that one. I've tried. This is, uh, Antimony. I think this is also a very highly poisonous element. I'm, like, 90% certain it is. One of the many things you don't want to eat. But yeah, this is also one of the levels where you have to mix all the all the colors to make them silver again. Yeah, in, th in this case you do, because only silver can go over the, uh, that part, th those tiles. White tiles are locked to silver. So any color can touch the silver exit, but those bright white tiles, you have to be silver to cross them. Otherwise, it acts like a wall. This is a Tellurium. This is a level that looks like it has shortcuts, but it doesn't. <laughs> and it pisses me off because of it. The closest we're going to get to seeing a shortcut in this level is jumping off from here to here. And I... Oh, damn it. That's okay. I don't... I ain't even mad. Hang on, we got one more shortcut right here, look. <laughs> the, re the reason why there's no shortcuts in this stage is because the level is always escalating higher very slowly. So, there's no way to, like, cheat and get over to the green side from the yellow side because the, the the green side is just ever so slightly higher than the yellow and even though there's ramps over there and it looks like you can make it you can't anyways here's helium it's just like the carbon stage except now the hazards on the floor are kind of almost telegraphed to you and I say kind of almost because they still put them in places where they can get you well I did that without losing any mercury I'll be damned I didn't see what my, what my fastest time on there was. It was pretty quick. Flooring! This is what the government puts in the water to control your mind. Don't vaccinate your kids. Oh, shit. Oops. Hahaha. <laughs> This level's kind of a mess. The camera's zooming out because all my mercury is spilling everywhere. <laughs> but there's no place for it to fall off. This is neon. They used to make signs out of this until they found out though. Wait, no, neon has the best hang on. This level has the best this level has the best shortcut in the whole fucking game. Hang on. Fuck neon. I don't care what kind of signs they make out of it. Check this shit out, watch. <laughs> Let's jump over here. And we're done. <laughs> it's great. 
All right, this one, unlike the Selena stage, you don't waste any time. You go straight for the, the lifter on this one. And I think we jump across here. There's a couple of there's a couple of really tricky jumps to make. The T in chlorine stands for tricky. As I'm sure you're aware. Oh come on. Did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I think there is a walk on my controller. It's not having a good time. It's not happy. Okay, yeah, I see what I did wrong. I gotta jump to that corner piece over there. Oh, this is the- oh, uh, fluorine? That's the chemical that makes the frogs gay? Alex Jones, represent. That's a man who's never said any- any falsified or incorrect information in his whole life. I like the- I like the vitality pills you sell that just make you turn red. It's kind of like that scene from Willy Wonka, except it's just a different spot on the color wheel. <laughs> That's the last of the elevator stages. We're done. This is Argon. It's an inert gas. If you breathe it, you'll die. Anyways, this level, uh, you can get through it real quick. I don't know why it starts you out as Cyan. It doesn't really matter, because the exit's like right- Damn it! There's a way to jump using this- this first little- this area right here, this little golf- golf hole thing, but... Oh, damn it. Okay, well... That's fine. Whatever. As long as we get there in the end, it's all that matters, right? This is bromine! This is for bros only! Only bros know about bromine. So this is a, a tricky stage. You have to eventually combine... combine these two. You essentially have to take turns navigating these individually through the uh, little maze here. Now you can actually use that that silver spot. See on the floor, you have to be silver to go through that. You can use that as a as a spot to stop the mercury. Okay, we're going back this way. I was trying to get it to, to mix on the way over there, but oh god damn it! What I did I lose the yellow? Oh, you know what it was? I I turned silver, and then there was a piece of blue that I touched, and it turned it back blue or cyan. Sorry. That's what happened on tin, I think. I turned it green, and then I hit a piece of yellow, and it turned it back yellow. Yeah, you, got, you gotta watch out for stray pieces of mercury floating around stages in this game. Ah, uh, yeah, see? Don't wanna touch the blue stuff. It's a very peaceful game. Anyways, here's Krypton. If Superman was running this game, this is where he would stop. So you can officially say that you can you're better you can be better at one game than Superman is. Hang on. Here we go. Suck my dick, Clark Kent. This is iodine. If you're stupid enough to expose yourself to the nuclear radiation, you can take iodine tablets and maybe you won't die. I don't know. Your thyroid will still melt, and so will so will the insides of your bones, but at least, you know. At least you got these iodine tablets. Better than nothing! I mean fuck, you can just be eating sweet tarts for all I know. Maybe that's better at protecting you from radiation. Hell, I don't know. Oh fuck, I'm on the wrong platform. We tried- we tried finding a fast strat for this stage, we couldn't find one. I mean, we kinda found- we were- we were kinda onto something with getting to the blue spritzer, but there's no way to get back, because the platform at, next to it doesn't activate. So we couldn't- we couldn't make it over. Like, we could make- we could make the jump over, but we couldn't make it back. Because the exit is blue. See it over there to the right. Whoops. Really messing this one up. 
No. No. Again, I'm on the wrong platform. See, that's, that's what I that's what I kept doing the other time. I kept getting the platforms confused. We have to be back at the start to get to these color spritzers. One little 3% mercury. Just one little drop. Apparently there is a, a faster strat because I've got like the 1,000th fastest time. This is Xenon. This is the final stage of the run. Unfortunately, I wish I could tell you there was some crazy, hilarious, fast strat for it, but there's not. You just follow these little spinning things. And that's it. Like, Xenon has no fast strat. Spinning around in the little cookie cutters. Alright, and time. It's time on Mercury. So I believe if I hit next, it'll say like rare earth. Yeah, discovery mode, heavy elements group one, so that's not Yeah. We don't want we don't want to do that. So we'll go to exit game. I want I don't want to play too many of those. Speed spin! Speed! What's my current best time for Mercury? My, <laughs> my best time... Well, this is also with the Xbox Live connectivity removed. My per current best time without DLC is 27 minutes, 56 seconds. How, how long, how much time did I put on the schedule for that? Only 30 minutes? Yeah, we, we ate that pretty hard. Whoops. We did get, hang on, we did get, we did get an anonymous $11 donation. Thank you, anonymous. There's uh, no comment there, just sent anonymously. That brings us up to 921. One for every element on the periodic table, I think. Don't quote me on that. I could ch I could check the screen right in front of me, but uh, I'm not. I'm just gonna say that there's 921 elements. And if you disagree, then, you know, that's that's your own problem, bub. That's your own problem. I can't believe I was 21 minutes behind my best on that. Jeez. All right, so that was Mercury HG. Like I said, that's a fantastic puzzle game. As far as I know, it's still available on Xbox Live Arcade, but uh, they got the Xbox Series 1S and X and all those other fifth next-gen console, whatever the hell the next... The fourth Xbox, it's out now, okay? And this is... I'm playing on Xbox number two, okay? So when you see it, you do a Series X and walk away. So, I don't know if you can still buy this game uh, on any other console other than the 360, but check it out. It's Mercury, it's a great game, you can grab it for, if, you, if you've got a PSP, you can get the PSP version dirt cheap. There's a version for, uh, there's a version for PlayStation 2 that's, uh, that's not very expensive. It's Mercury Meltdown and then Mercury Meltdown Remix. Buy the Remix version because it has more stages in it. That's, you know, really it. It's like a re-release special edition. Then they have this. I think this game is like 10 bucks download. Uh, and I think the DLC packs were like $3 or $5 a piece. They were, uh, they were, they were pretty cheap. They're pretty cheap. Unfortunately, this game is not available, is not available on, on PC or any other platforms that I'm aware of. I don't even know if it's on the PSN. It might be. But I'm playing on the Xbox. So, uh, check it out. If, uh, it, check out your PS3. Check out the 360. See if it's on either of those platforms. And if it is... It's worth nabbing if this is if this is the type of game you're into, but yeah, that's Mercury HG, and uh, you don't get the full periodic table with it. You got you, you have to you have to buy the other elements, <laughs> including Mercury that the game is named after. You could they could have at least fit that in there somewhere in the base game. There's something kind of there's something there's something innately stupid about that. It's it's very it's very EA, but EA had nothing to do with this game, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, so we're gonna be moving on now to. Uh, Harm's Way, which is also available for Xbox Live. However, unlike Mercury HG, Harm's Way uh, is delisted. It was a free game that was um, that was sponsored by uh, Doritos, and it's, it's a shitty racing game. But you can't lose at it, so we're just gonna play that real quick. <laughs> Emporio, other elements sold separately. That sounds like something you'd see on like a commercial at the very end, where it has all the GI Joes and all that. 
Hey, thanks for checking out Gatorbox on YouTube. We really appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you want to kick around with us live, follow us on Twitch because we do this several times during the week. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by subscribing right here on YouTube, following or subscribing over on Twitch, or even making a pledge on Patreon. Your support over the years has been tremendous. Thank you so, so much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video right here on Gatorbox.